Hey guys, Dave Thomas here at BowlingPlant.com, here with Mark at the Hoyt booth at the Total Archery Challenge 2022. And today we are just, well, we're just hanging out, really. It's kind of fun. People are walking by, oh, yeah. we're talking, there's a lot going on, but what's going on at Hoyt, I guess? What do you guys got going on? I've uh, got some new bows this year, so um, the Torx XT has a couple of new options on it. So we have the cable guard that's new for this model which is a little bit different, it's a little bit smaller, a lot smaller, yep. um, real tight to the, to the riser. And then also there is the shocks for a little bit of vibration dampening. Yep. So that's what's new on this one. That's great. And so with the Torx, you know, we were talking about this earlier off camera, but saying about how this is one of the best affordable bows Hoyt has to offer. True. Uh, great yeah. option if you want to shoot a Hoyt, you've been looking for Hoyt, this is a great option if you can't afford to step up to a little bit higher price points um with the ventum pro or the rx7 so a couple different options how, how, what are you seeing i guess in the shops what are you feeling about the bows what are people most excited about uh, i say the new cam rx7 with the new cam system um, a lot of older people are able to shoot more pounds now yep. that they weren't able to do before um and the price point bows always help out for the kids that are getting into it and it's a better quality bow um, yeah so i yeah, I think having a better quality bow at a lower price for kids yeah, is excellent. gonna go a long way to keep yeah. them with the brand. And uh, let's show off that red one over there. I gotta oh, show this off because yeah. it's so, yeah, so the red cool. one's a nice new color. Um, <laughs> I saw yeah, it. It almost like, blends into everything. It's blending so, in now. Yeah. Everything's red in here. So it's you amazing. probably can't see it as much. It just looks so good. And I'll show a close up of it, but this thing yeah, it's got looks a little so texture great. and a flatness to it, so this bow yeah. here, uh, specifically, is this a target bow or? This is, yes, it's a target bow without a shoot through riser. Nice. So. Yeah, you notice with the uh, Hoyt bows I really like and I've enjoyed is that you guys are doing a split limb bow, which seems like, yeah, everybody's a split limb, but it's narrow. It's not it's very nice wide. Yep. And I think that's really important to say because a lot of people forget that the width is important. You don't want a super wide bow for any stance. This gives you a nice, you know, close, small option, I think, in my opinion, that looks really good. Yes, real nice bow. It's a nice setup. There's a lot of new shooters shooting this bow. All right, Mark, so the carbon bow has been an icon for Hoyt. You guys really hit, hit this one out of the park, honestly. And not just this one, but all of them. Yep. Ever since the carbon came in, you know, we've seen so many cool names and cool technology in those bows throughout the years. It's really incredible. So what is happening with this year's new bows with carbon? Well, the new bows, they've changed the profile of it. It's a slimmer look. Um, the cutouts are different in it, but, uh, and this is kind of the old version of it, still with the turbo. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the new version is a lot slimmer, more in line. Um, this doesn't even have the option for your um, rest here or for yep. your sight and rest options. This is the more different design you're talking about yep. in the RX-7 Ultra. Uh, this is a lefty, but blackout looks nice. Nice blackout, yeah. So we have the the systems, uh, the inline type systems, right? We got the, the you can attach the QAD type yep. rest on the back. And you guys now have the front mount, which you've had for a couple years now, right? Yep. yep. Well, this is the first year for the front mount, second year for the back. Got it, okay, so, very yep. cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking bow. I can see the design. Actually, you can see a lot better on the black one yeah. compared to that. You can actually see how you guys got a little more straighter, a little flatter. It looks really cool. No, really it's, nice. Uh, and the cam system on it's totally different. A lot of people are really impressed with it. Yeah, that's um, awesome. That moved away from Hoyt for a while because of the cams, and they're able to pour more weight now. Well, Mark, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you're you hanging Thank out you with me. Stopping by. Guys, if you're up here in Michigan, come check out the Hoyt booth here at the 2022 Total Archery Challenge. Stick around for more content.